All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Chuck, it's Cruz Juan. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, today we are here in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. If you guys are not familiar with the southwest, the southwest, uh, a lot of the uh, land is owned by American West Homes, which now is actually owned by Pulte. So today we are here in this brand new community called Quinn's Canyon. Now Quinn's Canyon, they have a total of four different models to pick and choose from. However, there's only three that's displayed at this time. Uh, the lots total of 116. Lot premiums will run you roughly about $25,000. Uh, they have two stories, the three story homes. So we're gonna focus on this model right here, Palo Verde. Now, this one right here is 3,074 square feet, four bedrooms, and a flex space. Matter of fact, you can get up to five bedrooms on this one, I believe. So we're gonna take a look at this one together. We're gonna see exactly what you get. Now, I'll tell you the starting price here in just a second here. I had to hop over the fence real quick. You do have an option to do the uh, balconies too as well. Now the base price, which is the starting price, is 572,500. Not including the upgrades and the options and the lot premium. So I'm gonna go over some of these things with you so that way you guys know what's going on. Now also we haven't done a new home tour for a while. A lot of them have been resale, so I'm going to show you what's going on with the functions of the home here. Uh, the video may be a little bit longer. Uh, like I said, I just haven't done one of these for a while. So as you can see, we do have the drain lines for the air conditioning unit. Uh, this unit right here, this condenser, has nothing to do with this property. This is for the office, for the uh, superintendents. Here, we have the uh, Trek system right here for your pest control. We have your gas meter. We have your water spigot. Now you do have an option to do one in the back too as well. Here's your main water line. Here is your uh, pressure breaker valve for your sprinkler system, which is the box below, uh, rain system, okay? So on the exit of the home, as you can see, uh, you do have about, I think, three different elevations. However, with this builder, you don't have that much as far as the structural options and options. But I'm going to show you what's standard. Here's the uh, side of the home here. All right, let's go upstairs. So this is like a tri-level living. So basically, you're going to have to walk up eight stairs just to get to your tried level here and once you're here as you can see you have the first floor second floor and also the third floor so let's take a look at this we have orange peel texture on this one we have an 18 I'm sorry 12 by 24 on the tile however the standard here is going to be the 18 by 18 Looks like they have added some uh, distributed sounds. All right, let's start down this way here. Coming down the stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stairs. Now, on this one right here, uh, the structural op options on this one was actually a, a suite, okay? So I want you to take a look at this real quick. So we have the two car garage, you have the extra closet space here underneath the staircase. I do love the fact that we have a two and a half inch on the casings around the door, two panel door here. Now, if you take a look at this, this space right here, I want you to imagine from right here, this wall, completely gone, all this gone. And this would actually be one large game room. So I don't know if you guys can uh, picture that so just take a minute and just 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 take a look at it right just think about that for just a second so this is all completely open now we got eight foot ceilings on the first floor here 
So you can imagine all this just gone one open. Now if you want to do this uh, suite, um, you're going to have to pay for the suite, right? This would be considered a structural option here. Coming into the, uh, the bathroom. Now the standard vanity height for this build is going to be 32 inch. You have an option to do the uh, 34. However, these cabinets, it's a, more of a, a darker stain. However, the standard cabinets, you're going to do the uh, the birch. And the birch, the birch almost sounds like what it sounds like. It sounds like it's ugly. Yes, it is. If you like that brown color. Uh, looks like we have two sinks, which is an upgrade that you can also do too as well. Here's your water closet and your shower. Now, if I was to spec out this home, I definitely would uh, do the suite. Uh, that's definitely money well spent. Uh, you can literally pay up to 20,000 to 30,000 for this spec, right? If you're gonna do this, but in the long run, you should be able to get your money back. So this is something that I would do. However, keep in mind the uh, Traverse LED lights will not be included. So uh, the Traverse LED lights, you have an option where you can do single, double, or a four package. Typically on the four package, you're gonna get more of a deal. Or you can also do the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. If you wanna save some money, typically with new home builds, that's about 175 across the board, okay? On this one, I'm not too sure why they did two separate rocker switches. The only reason why they would probably have done this is because you have this every 16 inches, you have the two by four. So you probably have a two by four here, but I probably would have moved this four rocker switch right over here to the side, kind of give it a more of a custom look versus a Mickey Mouse. So in this game room section here, we do have some LED lights and the speakers as well that would definitely be the upgrade standard you would have a two-tone paint and i believe uh a three inches on the baseboard now as far as the uh suite is concerned i forgot to mention the suite is going to be 12 feet by 15 feet then the game room here would be about 13 by 22 feet okay now we have a six foot slide Now, as you can see here on the back, the average lot size I'm gonna say right now is about 4,500 square feet. You know on the uh, backyard here, um, you're not gonna get any of this synthetic grass. Also, the side wall would be a total of nine blocks high, six, six feet. This a covered patio balcony right here, this is a structural upgrade. Uh, back here we have Lennox, two Lennox air conditioning units. Uh, always make sure to check the R value on it. Sorry, not the R value, but if it is the uh, 410, which is I guarantee it's probably a 410. Now let's take a look. We got two breaker boxes. Did they put an outlet out here? Unfortunately, uh, they did not put an outlet out here for the service technician to work on it. But it looks like they put one here. And also it looks like you have an option for a gas for your... Um, what do you call it? your grill for the outside does come with the pavers too as well i want to break down the five i'm sorry the 10 5 2 and 1 year warranty program so you have a 10 year limited structure as far as coverage okay also another thing here um when you see these boxes this tells me that this is a uh a dual zone for your irrigation system so you have one control for the front and one control for the back you can actually have multiple through the rainbird system uh, going back to the air conditioning unit it's a 14 sear which is a great sear rating especially for lennox one of my favorite brands uh, now coming back to the uh, five-year protection against water and leaks so that's really good two-year on the plumbing hvac too as well typically uh that is for materials right and a one-year workman crafts and materials however as you go through your final walkthrough just make sure everything is done so that way you don't have to deal with it uh, this is a two-car garage we can't get into it it is locked 
Also, if you guys don't have a real estate agent buying a brand new home, going through the process, give me a call. We definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. I'm gonna show you how to do an add value on a home just like this. Spend your money wisely. The railings here are an upgrade. Typical, what you'll do is get a like a pony wall and a glass in between the pony wall. These are, I believe, more of an industrial carpet coming into the main living area. Okay, let's focus on the kitchen for a second here. A lot of things that you just need to be aware of. Okay, come standard birch. 36 inch cabinets these are actually 42 uppers with a four inch crown so you will not get that okay also your cabinets i'm gonna bring you back here for a second your cabinets are going to end here anything beyond this point will be an upgrade i believe you're going to get the granite okay now the granite you only have about two different selections of granite this is actually quartz so this would be like a level seven upgrade which you could definitely do this standard backsplash on here is going to be a six inches you're also going to get your whirlpool package appliances minus the refrigerator okay one thing that we're going to take a look at does this thing actually exhaust out so we do have an exhaust fan that exhausts that exhausts this out now one thing that you do have to double check sometimes when they do install this the installer forgets to take out that cover plate and now you're forcing all that debris and smoke back into your home so you definitely want to uh, double check that too as well and another thing the package appliances that you order check the serial number check the make brand and the model because sometimes what they do is supplement it for something else that you are not aware of so let's take a look at this island here this is a hard composite remember you get the granite now, this is a very nice island. However, you see how long this island is? Boom, it's gonna cut from here. This additional island right here is an upgrade. Now, when we come, when we talk about add value to the property, I would highly recommend that you do the cabinets all the way across and also add this full island too as well. It's gonna give you that custom look. The four chandelier lights here, I would definitely do a pre-wire, right? really nice so you just need to determine are you going to do three four or just two one on each side based upon the type of lighting okay now let's take a look at the cabinets these are just your pretty much your standard cabinets mdf staple cabinets with the side glides here as you can see okay let's take a look at the uh, dishwasher i know i'm walking back and forth here kitchen aid so these are uh upgraded appliances you do have the 12 by 24 tile however i believe the standard on here is 18 by 18 okay so here we have the refrigerator right you could just slide your refrigerator in however you're not going to get this refrigerator let's take a look at this pantry coming into the pantry so we have one two three four five shelves on the pantry okay now the second floor if you notice we have nine foot ceilings now let's take a look at the living room. Okay, so in the living room here, it looks like we have some surround sounds, but then what I've noticed is that we got, um, I'm sorry, not surround sounds, you got distributed sounds. Surround sounds is completely different from distributed sounds. Distributed sounds allows you to control the sound and music throughout the whole house. Now, depending on the type of system that you have, I want you to keep this in mind. You can literally control one room to another. So uh, if you do low voltage and you wanna have a smart home, one of the things that I would probably do is have a control four system allows you to literally control everything from an iPad or from your phone. Here it looks like we have the Cat6 and also your coax for your cable. Now, as you can see, we have this beautiful linear fireplaces and as you can see, we have some LED lights. It does give you some sort of BTU, but it's not going to be enough to heat the whole house. This 12 inch built out here that you see and also clad, it would have been an upgrade during the time of this build. So that's very nice. Okay. Now let's take a look at the back of the house here. Now, if you guys like this video, you guys love this content, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button too as well. And also, don't forget to tell all your friends and family. And please, 
If you guys don't have a real estate agent, I would love the opportunity to earn your business and it is free, believe it or not. So you can see right here a total of 116 lots, right? All slated to be built, okay? Now, the other thing is, I don't know if I mentioned this is a grand opening. Now, the uh, other thing I want to mention is uh, LED lights, traverse LEDs. These are all a upgrade as well. Now, let's head over here to the flex room. But before we hit the flex room, off to the le uh, left, we have the laundry room. Laundry room. Okay, so laundry room here, we have our 36, right? Uh, 34 on the cabinets with a 24 inch depth. You have a front load. It is pretty tight for a front load. And I would rather have a top load. Here, we do have a nice 36 inch cabinets here on the top. However, this would be an additional upgrade. You do have an option for a sink here, I believe too as well. Here, we have another 36 inch smart panel box. Now, when it comes to the smart panel box, one of the things I've talked about this multiple times, check to see if there is a Smurf tube. Reason why I'm saying this is so that way in the future, if you have fiber optics that is ran to your street, this allows them to pull that fiber optics into your home. In addition to that, we have some coax here. So this tells me that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically almost like every room has cable, right? Which is really nice. Or we also have an ether connection too as well. So you can do video, right? If you wanna do video, uh, if you wanna stream quicker, faster, that's a nice way to do it. However, one thing I would do with the uh, router and the modem, I would opt in for some additional um, connection for Wi-Fi. So they make these uh, little round, I forget what they're called. Let me know in the comments below if you, you know this because I just don't remember. So basically what you see is like these boxes right here. You can pre-wire for uh, your internet connection because that uh, modem, right? That router may not have enough, um, I guess, circumference or doesn't have enough range to cover because this is a three-story home. So you may want to have one on the f you know, second floor and also on the third floor too as well. Here off to the left, I forgot to show you, this is the half bath. Uh, standard typically comes with the pedestal sink and the 18 by 18 on the tile with one light right above. Now, let's go take a look at the flex space. So this is a pretty decent size on the flex space, but I want you to imagine uh, carpet. And also this slider would be an upgrade with the uh, balconies too as well. And also above with the four can lighting. Now let's take a look in the front of this community. Give you guys a bit better perspective here. So we have a nice beautiful slide which is, let me count this out, it should be six foot slide. Yeah, it is a six foot slide, okay? Look at this. Actually, it's an eight foot slide. I just counted it out. So right here is actually Decatur, which is a main sector road. Uh, right down here, we're gonna hit Cactus. Now, once you hit Cactus, anything that is located on the south east is that direction there is going to be southern highlands just about a block right down you're gonna have all your grocery shopping or if you head back north you're gonna hit blue diamond that's where all your shopping is you can literally see the strip from here south point right here is just less than a couple miles probably about two miles in addition to that the uh, 15 is just literally about 10 minutes from here to hit the strip so centrally located i do love that now let's take a look at the uh, exterior okay so all these are just low e dual pane windows which is really nice love the fact that they do have a plug here too as well an outlet obviously it's required okay so now let's go inside and hopefully you guys uh, like this video tour because today i'm am in a very talkative mood I love the fact that there's a lot of light coming into this house. Again, the banister, stair rail here is all a additional upgrade. One thing that I would probably do with this pony wall is probably also add a banister here too as well because this will just open up the front entryway. 
Right above here, we have our beautiful linear windows. Okay. Now on the third floor, what you're gonna notice is that third floor, all bedrooms, okay? So I know I said that we have four bedrooms, right? So you have one, two, three, four, which is the primary. Then you also have the option for the suite downstairs for your guests. So on this one right here, it's a pretty decent size. It's, it's pretty long. So on the third floor, let me give you a, for the owner suite here is a 12 by 18, which is not bad. However, it is eight, eight foot on the ceilings or eight feet on the ceilings. Is it eight foot on the ceilings or eight feet? Let me know in the comments below. But then, Take a look at the bathroom. So these cabinets here are 34 inches on the height. You got the corn countertops. Then we have our shower. However, uh, you won't have that many options on cladding this. So just keep that in mind. And the bathroom here is not that large for the owner suite. walk-in closet however I think this is a good price for a family of three kids now I don't know if it's just the cocking and throwing it off I don't know but for some apparent reason it looks like it's sloping down this way so how do you tell? Basically, you get a ball. If the ball rolls on this way, that means it's going the wrong way, okay? Just a quick tip. Throw some water on there and see what happens. Now let's head on down this hallway here. Now off to the left, we have a bedroom. This is a pretty standard sized bedroom. A uh, little bit less than, I'm going to say 10 by 10 here. Seems a little bit tight. I prefer just to have a three bedroom on this one and a suite downstairs to get more coverage on this bedroom here because it is very tight. However, great starter home. We got a transfer grill in all the rooms. Coming over to the bathroom here, we have two sinks, which would be an upgrade, and the counter on this one is only 30, 32 inches. So we need to get this counter a little bit more higher. Let's take a look at this bedroom. All right, so I'm gonna say these bedrooms are uh, very small. Great to start a family though. You do have an option to do the alarm system and all the windows as well for low voltage. And let's see what we have here. So we have some extra storage. All right, so let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. And again, if you guys don't have a real estate agent, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business but um, I think overall with the price, I think it's a pretty good price. And if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris White with Simply Vegas, and be blessed. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you wanna get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scenes, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuckett's Crusoe 2.0, check it out.